G'day guys, I just uh, thought I'd give you a, a look inside this Latronics inverter I have. Uh, it's the LS1848, which stands for um, 1800 watt 48 volt. Here's the, here's the specs on this inverter. You can have a look at this later if you like. Just pause it. Uh, so we've got 48 volt. 1800 watt, 2200 half hour rating, uh, 5400 watt, 5 second surge, voltage range 42 to 68 volts, uh, what's that one? Standby current 24 milliamps, uh, inverter no load, inverter on no load. 0.18 amps peak efficiency 94% the weight is 14 kilograms there's the dimensions um, yeah so um, I've un already undone the case here so let me just take that off and give you guys a little look around inside so it has three screws on either side six screws holding that case on. Uh, that's an aluminium case. All feels very well made. The, um, the case that the inverter is housed in is really solid, nice, nicely made. So first thing you see is that beast of a toroidal transformer. Um, I'm not going to pretend that I know <laughs> everything inside here because I don't but yeah I just wanted to give you guys a look and um, yeah so just to give you an idea of the size of that transformer this is a um, Samsung Galaxy 5 phone it's about the same same size as that really good size um, yeah as I said 14 kilograms uh, a lot of the weight's going to be in that, definitely. Uh, we've got two single pole DC breakers here. We've got uh, their Clipsal uh, C50 circuit, DC circuit breakers. Uh, got some nice, some good size wire there, 10 gauge wire that looks like. Uh, there's a fan here which um, is, sits in behind this vent here that um, goes in behind the circuit board there and there's a, there's a heat sink that basically flows right through that it looks like there's MOSFETs all along that heat sink there we've got two 200 volt 1000 microfarad capacitors one here one on the other side um, so there are dip switches just down here they, this little blue unit here with the dip switches and this is for um, setting your disconnect and reconnect voltage so I'm thinking I'll set the disconnect for 46 volts with um, 16s with the life cells that will be about 2.875 volts per cell here's the the Cal website um, discharging cutoff is 2.5 volts so that'll be fairly conservative there um, and then reconnect I'll have set to 48 volts which will be 3 volts per cell so that should should work well um, yeah so on the case it has an auto start sensitivity and this stalk here lines up with that hole so you can adjust that with the case on uh, what else have we got we've got the 10 amp 
240 volt socket there and the AC AC wiring really heavily twisted uh, looks like a are these um, ferrite ring I think they're called we've got one of the wires running through that one there and it looks like there's another big ring down here that the negative wire is really heavily twisted around down there so these these inverters are supposed to be really good as far as um, noise goes with your um, radios and that sort of those sort of electronics they're supposed to be really clean sine wave uh, so that's that and around the front here we have the um, the hardwire socket for the AC so yeah it all looks really good quality I'm very happy with it um, yeah let me know what you think guys and uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.